Good morning, everyone. Um, how are you doing today? My name is Brenda from Be Crafty 12. I'm here to do a review for um, this Amazon purchase that I made from Nielden uh, Diamond Painting. Um, well, that's what it says, but the company that actually sold it was... Um, ZCF Zing XU. That's who it said it was sold by, but it has Nielden's name on it. Um, but anyway, this was uh, a item I wanted to purchase for Drills and Chills uh, 2020 over on Instagram. If you'd like to come and follow us, it's till the end of October. Um, but I wanted to give a review on this uh, just in case anybody else wanted to order it um, and find out what I felt about this picture. Okay, well, first of all, I ordered it on the 16th of August, uh, 2020, and it arrived August 19th, 2020. Now I do have Prime, Amazon Prime. Um, the painting was $12.99. But I followed a link that Crafting with Anne had put out there because she also did an un unboxing of this or unbagging of this. And so um, I got a little bit of a discount coupon uh, when I went through that link. Um, I ordered and it said it was uh, $12.49 is what I paid. So the item was $12.99. I got a coupon for $1.30. Um, it made it eleven sixty nine. I paid seventy nine cents in tax. It ended up being twelve forty eight total. Um, so my review on this is that um, first of all, the drills I threw out after I did the painting. I threw the rest of the drills out. Um, all the black drills were stuck together in the bag. There was probably maybe 20 or 30 of them that weren't stuck together. So I had to use a pill bottle with a nickel in it and shake them up. And actually, I couldn't even do it. My husband had to do it. Um, and it was with every color. There was no colors in this entire kit that weren't stuck together. Um, that was my first gripe. My second gripe was that I ran out of color. Um, it's one of the pink colors. Uh, there's two shades of that color. It might be these, these two colors here. Um, as I was finishing up over here, it, I didn't have enough of the one color to do it so then I had to place the other color in its place and that's how I ended up with filling in everything that I could um, was I just used the color that the other color that was over here um, the other big issue that I had with this canvas was that um, right here where these really dark blue dots are at um, these had a blue in the background and then a uh, dark number written on them and it was almost impossible now I I use a light board I used a light board underneath it I used my ring light I have two ring lights so I used one on this side one on the one on the left one on the right um, I used my magnifier because I have a magnifier on my my one light and I still couldn't see what was going on um, and that was number eight if you look at this number eight is like a deep dark blue and then the number eight is visible on 
this a lot better than it is on the actual canvas. And then also, if you look at um, the chart here, you'll see the letter N. I don't know if you can see that very well, but the letter N is on there. Um, there is no letter N on the canvas. Um, what I ended up doing was I used the letter M because the letter M is on here, but it's also not on the chart. So I used the M and it turned out fine. Um, other than that, I believe the canvas turned out beautifully. Um, I was very frustrated, especially with paying up for it. Um, if I wasn't on Prime, I would have been paying for, well, if I, yeah, if I wasn't on Prime, I'd be paying for shipping and all that kind of stuff on top of it. And so I just felt like if I had sold something like this on Amazon, they'd have pulled it for customers having issues with the product. Um, if I had sold, I mean, I'm an eBay seller. If I'd have sold something like this on eBay, I'd have gotten a really bad review and they may have pulled my items. So I'll, all I'm saying is that for the, for the money, uh, if I'd have paid two or $3 for it, it'd been one thing, but I paid more than a few bucks and it just wasn't a good quality canvas. Some of the drills that I've placed have holes in them because that was all that was in the bag to use. I couldn't, I used what I had. If there were bad drills I, and I had to use them, I used them. Um, like I said, disappointing. I've already contacted the company. Um, I've already did, you know, spoke with, uh, uh, customer service and let them know how I felt about it. I did my review on the painting. Um, for the most part, uh, some of the drills are shiny and some of them are really, really dull. Um, I don't really know why that is, but if you look at some of them, there's almost no shine to them, and then others that are really shiny, like this, this in her face here is super shiny, but the ones that are down here aren't. It's almost like they have two or three manufacturers, and the drills don't actually look the same. All of the the black ones look like they're from a different company. There's some that have uh, cuts in the diamond all the way around. And then there's others that are almost flat. Um, it's just weird. Like I said, um, it's almost like they used multiple manufacturers to get the drills for one picture. Uh, which, if anybody has been diamond painting for any length of time, you would know... That's a no-no. You're going to get a different, it's going to show differently on the canvas. So anyway, that's my review. Sorry it's so late. Um, I had mean was meaning to do this when I actually finished it, but life gets in the way. So that's my review. I hope you like this review. Um, please let me know if you've bought from Neil Den and if you maybe purchased a different diamond painting and you got a good quality painting, I would love to know because I don't want to just cross this company off as being a crappy company, but I also look at the video and or look at the canvas and everything, all the problems, and I'm like, mm, if everybody else is having issues, then maybe I just don't buy it from, it from this place again. So anyway, thank you very much for spending some time with me, and I have a multitude of other videos coming out. So stay tuned. Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Bye.